And now I had a feeling that we wouldn't need wheel extensions with these rims. They stick out. Now, some people, you might not like that on certain vehicles. So I'm going to let you know ahead of time. If you buy these wheels, they're going to stick out. I'm not that sure that I like it, to be honest. That's more than I was expecting they'd stick out, to be honest. But that's okay. Looks great from the side. And it'll probably help her not flip over so much. She'll still perform just fine. Don't like the tires. I know that one's on backwards. It's made for the other side. I just already had this side done. So I wanted to be able to put it on this side of the car. Here's the thing though. I just don't want them tires on there. These Mickey Thompsons are damn good tires. So we're going to go ahead and put them on there. We're going to take them off these rims. That's just what needs to be done. They already say wife's bug. That's because the Mickey Thompson writing is super small right along the rim here. There's no way I could paint those. So we put wife's bug on it instead. They're great performing tires all around. So, ah, boy, I don't like the stance though. I mean, I wanted a little bit of a kick out, but I wasn't thinking they were going to stick out that far. But anyway... Let's go ahead and do the work of swapping one. Shit. So, all right, I got two of them on the front. Um, this one is the one I put the other back spacing. There we go. This is what I took off of one. This is what we put back on it. So let me see if we can get the difference here. It's not much, you know, maybe three sixteenths to an eight. I don't know how many millimeters, maybe three to four, four millimeter maybe. But once it's on here, you really don't see much difference when these tires are on there. When these little babies are on there, you can tell because of the way they're rounded out. But these look good. So I will save these for my Chevy truck. I don't want them out as far on my Chevy. And I'll put this back on here and we will use them on the bug because I can barely tell that this one here is in just a hair more than this one. Barely. So anyway... They're looking good. All right. I had to take a break so we could watch Survivor. It's a family tradition every Wednesday that it's on anyway. So now, I just got done separating the two different size screws because when they send them to you, they're all in one pack. You got to separate them yourself. For the most part, I do it as I'm going. But and then after I get a pile separated like this, when I'm about to, rip, to build these, I like to separate them. I spread them all out like this because now whenever I need a screw, I can reach over and get one because this is a strong magnet. If I get over here like this, it'll pick up quite a few. So I do it like that so I can pick up one at a time and get ready to go to town on them. Let's go back into hyperlapse. And there we go. That looks pretty dang sweet if I say so myself. I think she's going to love it. She's asleep right now, but man, I like it. I 
I think I need to go ahead and take the shocks loose and I need to uh, top these off with that oil because I know these shocks are some of my oldest ones and they definitely need re need retuned. But I'm telling you what, stance ain't bad now. These tires changed it. The way the other tires looked, they weren't very wide, so they just looked far out. But man. This truck's actually pretty dang slow. You gotta love the Hobby Wing Fusions, no matter which one you get. I'll tell you that right now. They are all awesome. If you got the budget for the Pro, get the Pro. If you don't have that budget, get the 1800 KV. If you don't have that budget, get the 1200 KV. It's all good stuff. So, that's just honestly my opinion. If you want to go slow, like I said, I can creep the creeping. And that's not a pro. That's what's amazing. So now, we went ahead, like I said, we decided to put my wife's Mickey Thompson's on here. These are RC four-wheel drive Mickey Thompson Baja Claws. They're actually some of my favorite tires. I think they are absolutely great performing tires i mean all around they don't really have too many flaws in them they're i mean they're not the best but they don't have any bad they're like for an all-around tire i guess you could say i have good luck with them on wet rocks dry rocks a little bit of sand and dirt they're not the maybe not the best in sand but not bad you know anyway and they look killer, even if you got to make up your own letters. Again, they do have writing on them, but the writing is as small as them screws are going around the edge. And it's up against the rim. It's not even in the center of the tire. And I was like, what are they thinking? But anyhow, that's the slug bug. That's where she's at. We got the new bumpers. We got the new wheels. We got the new eyelashes. And she's going to love it. This thing really performs. We've got the Hobby Wing Fusion 1800 KV. It's only a 25 kg servo. Just one like the Red Cat Hex Fly servos. But they're really good servos. There's really nothing wrong with them servos. There's something wrong with this one. If I get it wet too long, she'll act up. Because uh, the I took it apart and put a new gear in it one time, I think, a long time ago. I took two and made one. And I didn't seal it back really well. And I went out and got in water one time and it's, it quit completely. And two days later it was working again. So it's fine. I never changed it after that. And it's been like two years ago. It was literally in a video. So now then, one more thing. For those who have not followed any of this build at all. And you're wondering about these lights being lit up. I'm going to tell you that this is the Lexan body. Those are just built-in clear Lexan lights. I painted them this way. That's all I did. And I put a bulb behind them. Put amber bulbs in there. But I took my amber light paint that I got for models. I got the red and I got the amber. And obviously I just painted the end of it amber. I painted this part with my silver paint marker. So it looked like it had something there. This one's a little better. But it came out fine. The headlights, I just did not paint with the paint. I taped them off so they would not paint. And then I stuck the headlight sticker over them. And I drilled out the hole of the sticker in the middle just so the, that the light itself would kind of shine through. What is it? Did it fall? This one has moved out of its position, it looks like. Maybe not. But anyway. And then the tail lights, I've done the same thing. I... Uh, they come with stickers is what they come with, but we ain't doing stickers. I took the sticker. It's a two-piece sticker. You go around the edge with one half of it, and then you put a piece right down the middle. Well, I did the edge sticker, and you can see I painted the silver up there first. But then this, I just did not use the sticker, and I painted it with red paint and put the red bulb. And then I did not know it at first. I wasn't thinking. 
This is supposed to be a license plate light. I thought it was a trunk handle, which I, it might be both in the real life. I don't know, but I thought it was just, you know, the hood latch or whatever. So I did not put a light in there when I should have. I painted it all silver. So anyway, that's the wife's bug. And man, this thing crawls. This is probably one of my best TRX4s. If I'd put some brass on it now, that's all it needs. It needs weight. And I've seen some nice weights that go onto these wheels right here. And it says they fit TRX4s, but I have issues with stuff fitting behind TRX4. They look like they'd fit, though. So now, there's that. Um, Friday, everything will be here that I'm waiting on. I got new tires coming. We got the badass tires on the way. Um, probably the most more expensive ones of all of them because I didn't want to wait on shipping. They were the, uh, geez, no, I can't even think of them. Proline BF Goodrich uh, crawlers. Everybody says they're good, and I love the look of them. I've been wanting them for a while, so I got a set coming. They're going to go on those orange wheels for my other Chevy. And then we got to maybe get some shock keys to lift it up a little bit more so I don't have to trim the body. It's a trail truck, not a, not a comp crawler. When I want a comp crawl on it, I will change the body back to the honcho or something and beat the shit out of it. But anyway, huh, where are we at on that? I haven't got any good runs in lately because I've been working, it's been dark, it's been raining, all that stuff. So, I haven't even tested the trailer yet. Oh, that's where we're at next. We gotta put a ball hitch on a couple of vehicles. So anyway, I hope you didn't mind this project. My wife loves this little rig. And also, either the Jeep or the Chevy, uh, k10 we're building now the orange one either one of those is going to be hers for axial fest um that's the only two i got other than the little guys so my four-wheeler and i i got to do some things to that one but make it another four-wheeler anyway that's what we got going on with that so now i'm gonna go ahead and figure out my next project and i will catch you on the next one so please like subscribe share comment do all that good stuff and please come back for the next one peace